Today we're going to have a quick video on how to create a keychain ring using your Hot Wheels, Matchbox, any other die cast 64 scale car. And also using the same procedure you can make Hot Wheels tree ornaments. It's really easy to do. And we'll go over a quick list of some of the things you may need for this. First thing is an actual Hot Wheels. You may recall seeing this particular car in a restoration video. This is a Mercedes, which happens to be a red line. Yes, we're going to drill a hole in a red line. I like to use 5-minute epoxy. You could certainly use JB Weld, possibly even glue. I do prefer epoxy. It seems to be stronger and cures quicker than glue or JB Weld. I've also had JB Weld come apart before. I've never had epoxy fail me yet. Now, there's several ways to do this. We're going to use these small screw eyes. These are 5 8 of an inch. We also have some 3 quarter inch. We're going to stick with these smaller ones. I'll put a link below the description where you can get some of these. And for this particular method, you're going to want a drill bit. We're going to be using the same drill bit we use with our drill to tap out the Hot Wheels. This will work perfectly for those 5 8 inch screw eyes. And here's a quick tip for any hobbyist, automotive worker, woodworker, anyone messing with epoxies, anything, glues, you name it, key cards. Now I travel a lot for work, which means I stay in hotels quite often. And all the hotels out there use these key cards you see here. Well, they don't really need those back. So every time I stay in a hotel, I just take the cards with me. And when they ask if you want one or two keys, even if I'm alone, I always say, give me two keys. I've got a stack of these, they work excellent. If you're new to customizing, be sure to check out some of the other videos involving wheel swaps because the first thing you're going to want to do is to get the base off the vehicle. Now, if you've got a metal base with a metal body, you're going to need to drill and tap these out. So check those videos out. You'll need those to do this procedure. And as we mentioned in the beginning of the video, we're going to show you how to make a keychain and a tree ornament. They're both essentially the same. Except I want to show you a different procedure if you have a plastic base car, such as this Cadillac. We'll show you how to get this base off without having to drill and tap. Now for that method, you are going to need a soldering iron. And we'll show you how it works now. A few other items that may be handy to have are some blue painter's tape and a center punch. Now we're going to go ahead and get started on this plastic base model. We've got our soldering gun heated up to the proper temperature. Let's begin. We're going to go ahead and take our soldering tip and then hold it on one of the posts. Also note, we're going to use a small flathead screwdriver. This is not necessary, but we'll speed up the process and pry up on the base as we're holding the soldering gun. And you'll feel it get a little soft. And once it's soft enough, pull it out. Now we've got the base removed from the front. We can follow up and do the same thing in the rear. And now we have the base removed from the vehicle. Now that we've got the body removed from the base, we don't want to repaint this, so we're going to put some blue painter's tape where we want to drill. Now you can measure this out. We're just going to guess. We're going to take our center punch. You don't necessarily need a center punch, but it will help the bit from walking off. We've got our little mark. Now we're just going to drill out the center. Now once you have your hole drilled, be sure to put the glass in there as well. So we need to drill a hole through that glass. Now we're going to simply thread in the screw eyelet. Now this would probably be enough to actually hold this for a Christmas tree ornament, but we're still going to epoxy it into place. Now if the threaded portion is sticking out too far for your liking, go ahead and get some side cuts and cut a little bit short. And now we can start mixing up the epoxy. This is a two-part epoxy, and then we'll go ahead and take a toothpick and mix it all together. Once you've got it nice and mixed up, go ahead and apply some to the end of the screw. Now this epoxy does cure in five minutes, so at this point we want to move rather quickly and reassemble the car. We put the interior, put both wheels in place, and then we can go ahead and put our base on. And what I'm going to do is use this epoxy to reattach the base to the body. That way we do not have to mix it back up. Although this is five minute epoxy, I still throw some clamps on there 
and usually wait 15 minutes before handling the car. After you've let it dry for a bit, it should look something like this. Now, depending on what you're going to use this for, if it were a Christmas tree, you only need to make about 100 more of these. And now we're going to start with the star of the show, at least in my opinion, which is the Hot Wheels keychain. We've already taken our center punch and marked our spot right here. I'm not going to tape it up since we are not drilling into the actual body, but the base. There's no paint there. We're just going to drill a hole. And we're not going to take it apart just yet. We're going to leave it assembled while we drill the hole to make it easier to handle. Now this particular car has already been restored, so we've already addressed removing the base from the body. We're just going to simply unscrew the screws. As you can see, there's our hole. We'll go ahead and thread the eyelet into place. And once we've got it threaded in place, on this particular car, we've cut the shaft really short because our post is right there. So we need some room to re-thread our screw. That should be plenty. And just like before, we're gonna mix up a new batch of epoxy. We only need a little bit. We'll go ahead and mix it up. We're gonna put a good amount on this one. Since there's not a whole lot of meat there. And once it dries, we'll go ahead and reassemble the vehicle. And as you can tell, the Mercedes found its companion. And that pretty much wraps it up for this one. This was a real quick, fun, and easy project. Very little time spent on doing this project. In fact, the longest portion of the project is the time that it takes for the epoxy to cure. Also, I'll try to remember to add links to these little eye hooks. That way, if you want to do this project yourself, and you're wanting to make some key rings or tree ornaments, whatever else you can think of. Also, if you'd like, check out the channel on Patreon. I'd like to take a moment to thank all my patrons and give special thanks to my top patrons, which are Corbin Toll and Andy Ackley. Thanks everyone, I really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post those below. And as always, thanks for watching.